Hello, discrete math fans. Let's try to find an expression for the floor of n over 2. Now, if the inside of the floor function is an integer, it's easy. We just get right back to where we started. So when n is an even number that makes the inside an integer, the floor of n over 2 is just n over 2. Now, let's see what happens when n is odd. So this is another time when we have to divide things up into cases. If n is odd, then n over 2 is not an integer and something different happens. So in that case, we can write n equals 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So first, we'll replace the n over 2 with 2k plus 1 over 2. And we'll split it up into two fractions. And then we end up with the floor of k plus a half. And we know what happens with this. We just go down to the next integer, so we get k. Now remember, n is equal to 2k plus 1. So if we decide to solve for k out of this equation, we'll get k is equal to n minus 1 over 2. So we're going to summarize this now, that the floor of n over 2, we're going to get n over 2 if n is even. And then, remember, we get k if n is odd. But what's k? k is n minus 1 over 2. So that's our other case. So this gives us a formula for what the floor of n over 2 is without resorting to any floor functions. Okay, that's all for now.